Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to our virtual class. By the way, I'm Jamalia Inero and I'm your MAPI teacher this morning. Our topic this morning is all about body mass index and weight management. But before that, this is our objectives. Objectives A defines the body mass index and weight management. B develops the importance of keeping tracks your fitness in data relations to improve personal fitness. Weight management is a struggle for many Filipinos, but controlling body weight has many benefits. Filipinos nowadays have adapted the Western culture of excessive intake of unhealthy, high calorie food coupled with physical inactivity, which often results in a society called obesogenic a tendency to have a fat citizenry. This transformation to, towards overpathness does not occur overnight. The number of overweight and obese Filipinos has already grown according to the National Nutrition and Healthy Survey by the FNIR, Food and Institute Research and Institute, and DOST, Department of Science and Technology and it will most likely contribute to the development of related diseases. The terms overweight and obesity are both used interchangeably to describe situations in which the body weight is higher than the recommended for op optimal health. Because being overweight or obese increases the risk of developing diseases or health problems, stated plainly, you are overweight if you weight more than what is expected for someone of your stature, height, and you are obese if your weight a lot more than what is expected. To be more specific, body mass index or BMI is used to classify people into four subclasses, underweight, normal, overweight, and obese. BMI is commonly used because it is very easy to measure and it also correlates strongly with the percentage of body fats. Excess levels of body fat contribute to a number of health concerns including heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, and some cancers. Typically, body fat levels are higher as BMI increases. A BMI between 18.5 to 24.9 kg or M2 is considered normal with a healthy body weight. This is because BMI within this range is associated with the lowest risk of developing a chronic disease or dying. People who classified as overweight have an increased risk of disease and death, and those who are obese have the highest risk of developing a number of diseases. Ways circum circumference People have different patterns of body fat distribution. And these patterns correspond the different rest levels for disease. The locations of the body fat accumulation influence a person's health risk. The rest is lower for those who have fat distributed more around the hips and tights, called gynoid obesity and commonly referred to as a pear-shaped physique, than for those who carry fat on the trunk or abdominal area, called Android obesity, commonly called an apple-shaped physique because of the concern with abdominal obesity. Waist circumference alone can help identify whether you are at risk of health concerns. Physical activity and exercise defined. Physical activity refers to bodily movement produced by skeletal muscles. It requires energy expenditure and produced progressive health benefits. Physical activity typically requires only low to moderate intensity effort. Examples of physical activity include walking to and from work, taking the stairs instead of elevators and escalators, and gardening, doing household chores, dancing and washing the car by hand. Exercise is a type of physical activity that requires planned structure and repetitive bodily movement to improve or maintain one or more components of physical fitness examples of exercise are walking running cycling aerobics swimming and strength training 
Exercise is an activity that requires a vigorous and intense effort. Intensity of exercise. When trying to develop the CR or cardiorespiratory system, many people ignore intensity of exercise. For muscles to develop, they have to be overloaded to a given point. The training stimulus to the biceps muscle, for example, can be accomplished with arm curl exercises using increasing weights. Likewise, CR is stimulated by making the heart pump faster for a specific period. Health and CR fitness benefits result when a person is wo working between 30 to 85 percent of heart rate reserve or HRRR combines with an appropriate durations and frequency of training. Health benefits are achieved when training at a lower exercise intensity that is between 30 to 60 percent of the person's R uh, HRR. Even greater health and cardioprotective benefits and higher and faster improvements in CR fitness or BO2 max, however, are achieved primarily through B though vigorous intensity programs at an intensity above 60 percent. Recent research indicates that the traditional equation of 220 age over predex MHR in people 40 years and younger and under predex MHR in, in individuals above 40 years old. Instead, we will use 207 as our constant MHR from birth that de decreases by one bit per year. The intensity of exercise or training intensity or TI can be calculated easily and, tra and training can be monitored by checking your pulse. To determine the intensity of exercise or cardiorespiratory training, shown according to heart rate reserve, follow the step, uh, these steps. Estimate your maximal heart rate or MHR according to the following formula. MHR does 207 minus 0 0.7 age times age then check your resting heart rate RHR for a full minute in the evening after you have been sitting qu quietly for about 30 minutes reading or watching a, re a relaxing TV show. You can check your pulse on the rest by gently placing two or three fingers over the re re radial artery or in the neck using the ca carotid artery. Determine the heart rate reserve or HRR by subtracting the resting heart rate from the maximal heart rate. HRR equals MHR minus RHR. Calculate the training intensity or TI at 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 85 percent. Multiply the heart rate reserve by respect 0.30, 0.40, 0.50, 0.60, 0.70, 0.80, 0.85, 0.90, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 0.95, 
143 BPM, 70%, 125 times 0.70 plus 68 equals 155 BPM, vigorous intensity. 85%, 125 times 0.85 plus 68 equals 174 BPM, 143 minus 174 BPM. Physical activity and active recreation. Leisure is an unobligated time wherein you are free from any pressing concern in studies and or work. Recreation may be classified into two, active and passive. Act passive recreational activities are those which you spend your leisure without exerting much of your physical prowess, such as playing board and card games. Listening to music, reading, watching TV, and surfing the internet, or playing computer games. Active recreational activities, on the other hand, are those that require deliberate physical efforts which may range from light to vigorous intensities. This includes walking, jogging, taking the stairs, gardening, doing household chores, playing sports, swimming, dancing, and even hiking or Monitoring. In the absence of a planned exercise program, doing active recreational activities may help you break the monotony of a toxic desk work, mind-boggling academic problems, and brain-squeezing assignments and research papers required in your classes. Active recreational activities provide not just an opportunity for you to enjoy life, but an avenue to enhance your fitness. They are not suggested to take the place of the academic challenge in school, but are recommended to balance or neutralize the adverse effect of a sedentary lifestyle among students. The earlier you make active recreation a fitness habit, the more chance you will have to maintain or improve your health and well-being. Adults between age 18 to 64, older adults of age 65 and beyond, pregnant women and those who just give birth, and children 6 years of age and older, and adolescents like you are deeper in physical activity the prescriptions. Children and adolescents should do 1 hour 60 minutes or more of physical activity every day. The one hour or more a day should be either moderate or vigorous intensity aerobic physical activity. Developing the habit of engaging in physical activities, which may come in form of active recreation, will eventually reduce the risk of hypokinetic disease. The term hypo means low or lethal, and kinetic implies motion. These hypokinetic diseases include hypertension, heart disease, chronic low back pain, and obesity. Lack of physical activity is a part of modern life that most people can no longer avoid. Even for students like you, to enjoy modern day conveniences and live life to its fullest, however, you have to make a personalized lifetime exercise program a part of daily living. This challenge can be addressed by actively engaging in active recreation, making it a habit of both body and mind. Common injuries involved in recreation Sprains A sprain is a stretch or tear of a ligament, the band of connective tissues that join the end of one bone with another. Sprains are caused by trauma such as a fall or a blow to the body that knocks a joint out of position and in the worst case, ruptures the supporting ligaments. Sprains can range from first degree or minor to third degree, the worst. Areas of the body most vulnerable to sprains are the ankles, knees, and wrist. Sign of a sprain include varying degrees of tenderness or pain, bruising, inflammation, swelling, inability to move a limb, or joint or joint lossness, laxity or in instability. Strains. A strain is a twist, pull or tear of a muscle 
or tendon, a cord of tissue connecting muscle to bone. It is an acute non-contact injury that results from overstretching or overcontraction. Symptoms of a strain include pain, muscle spasm, and loss of strength. On the other hand, it is hard to tell that difference between mild and moderate strains, severe strains not treated professionally can lead to permanent damage and loss of function. Knee injuries. Due to its complex structure and weight-bearing function, the knee is the most commonly injured joint. Each year, more than 5.5 million people visit orthopedic surgeons for knee problems. Knee injuries can range from mild to severe. Less severe would be tendonitis, patellar femoral compression syndrome, or iliotibial band syndrome, and bursitis, to name a few. The severe injuries include bone braces or damage to the cartilage or ligaments. Major injuries are common to the anterior cruciate ligament or ACL, meniscus injuries, posterior cruciate ligament or PCL, medial collateral ligament or MCL, and the lateral collateral ligament, LCL. Knee injuries can result from a blow to or twist to the knee from improper landing after a jump or from running too hard but much or without proper warm-up. Other common sports injuries suffered by athletes are shin splints or archilis tendon injuries, patella dislocations and hamstring, quadriceps, and calf injuries. Next is dislocations. When two bones that come together to form a joint become separated, the joint is described as being dislocated. Contact sports such as football, basketball, and lacrosse, as well as high-impact sports that can result in excessive stretching or falling cause the majority of dislocations. A dislocated joint is an emergency situation that requires medical treatment. Symptoms of mentioned injuries, pain, swelling, bruising, difficult and painful movement, deformity, a pop, snap, or tear, and sometimes felt or heard when the injury occurs. First aid techniques to injuries during recreation. These acronyms shall be remembered when applying first aid to injuries during the conduct of recreational activities or price and harm. Follow the price procedure. Protection, remove additional risk or danger in the injured area. Rest, stop moving the injured area. Apply ice to the injured area for 20 minutes every two hours for two days. Then, the, the, then ice can be applied less frequently after the first two. Ice, days until the fifth to seventh day, instead either contrast bath or warm compresses will be applied to hasten the healing process of the damaged tissues. Compression. Apply an elastic compression bandage in the injured area. Elevation. Raise the injured area above heart level. Diagnosis. Acute injuries should be evaluated by healthcare professionals. In the first few days of an injury, remember to avoid harm. Heat. Any kind of heat will speed up the circulation, resulting in more swelling and longer recovery. Alcohol can increase swelling, resulting to longer recovery. Exercising can cause further damage to the injured part. Running or other exercise also increases blood flow, resulting to more excessive exercise. Swelling, manage, massage, Increase swelling and bleeding into the tissue, prolonging recovery time. 
First aid for sprains and strains. Minor sprains and strains can be treated at home using these measures. Stra start treatment as soon as possible to reduce swelling and speed up recovery. The less swelling, the more blood get to the injured part to start the repair process. Apply the price method. Do not apply heat during the first two days as this will only increase swelling. Use paracetamol for the first day of the injury since it will reduce pain without increasing bleeding. Thereafter, ibuprofen or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory or aspirin is a good choice. Don't give aspirin to a child younger than 16 years. Arnica oil works well to reduce swelling. Remove rings immediately if the injury is the hand or fingers. After 48 hours, start moving the limb gently, but only enough so as not to cause pain. Gra gradually increase the range of movement. Let pain be your guide. Strains usually heal in about a week. Sprains may take up to the three weeks to heal, depending on the degree of sprain or stain. First aid for fractures. Apply price method. Keep the limb in the position you found it and place soft padding around the broken bones. Splint the injury with a, something rigid, such as rolled up newspaper or magazines to prevent the bones from shifting. Do not move the broken bones. Splint must be long enough to extend beyond joints above and below the fracture. If there is an open fracture, cover it with a clean ghost pad. Apply pressure to control bleeding. Do not try to push the bone back into the wound. Do not attempt to clean it. Get medical attention immediately. Fractures of the femurs and pelvis may cause severe internal bleeding. Do not give the person anything to eat or drink in case surgery is needed. Doctor, if you suspect a fracture or dislocation, or if you are unsure that the severity of a sprain or strain, you cannot straighten the affected joint or bear weight or, on it. Or if a joint feels unstable, the skin over the injury area is broken. The limb below the injury feels numb or tingling, or is white, pale or blue in color, or feels colder compared to other healthy limb. The ligaments of the knee are injured. You injured an area that has been injured several times before. Pain is severe or lasts longer than 24 hours. Or if swelling does not subside within 48 hours. A sprain or strain does not improve after 5 to 7 days. Sign of infections develop. So any clarification, suggestions about our topic this, after, uh, this morning? So if none, thank you so much for listening and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel at www.gaitf.com and don't forget to open your LCMS. Thank you.